Okay, as summer starts to come to an end, um, we thought it'd be useful to fit some wind deflectors to our training car. Obviously with uh, COVID regulations, we need to keep the windows down, keep some ventilation in the car. Um, but on rainy days, that can be tricky. So we're going to um, just have a look at attaching some wind deflectors. Now, as you can see over here on my, uh, my camper van, I've had wind deflectors fitted for a number of years. And these are um, the brand Team Heiko. Um, and as you can see, it just creates a bit of an inch gap. And then so you can wind your window down about an inch um, and it prevents um, the rain getting in, even at speed, and allows um, good and ventilation so particularly for covid purposes really handy so we're just gonna have a quick look at uh, fitting fitting them so we've actually got a set of four two for the uh, the front windows and two for the back and as the instructions um, suggest uh, they recommend before taking them out of the packaging you just offer them up to the window and check that you have ordered the right ones so we'll do that now um, and as i say team Heiko do make um, wind deflectors for most popular cars and um, I've certainly very, been very pleased with the ones I've got on my van. So that seems to be the right uh, right type. So we'll just uh, carefully unpack them. So as you can see it's just um, the plastic deflector with a grooved top that will um, push into the window channel slot and then some double-sided tape um, which will peel off once we're sure um, and then that will attach it and then there will be a couple of clips that we then fit into the window channel so let's uh that's it in theory let's see how easy it is okay so we just buzz the window down there First of all, let's just loosely offer it in. So, it does say in the instructions, obviously if you're doing this on a cold day, you really do need to bring the plastic up to room temperature. But there we are, it's a relatively straightforward fit, so we're happy with that. So we'll just pop that out again and remove the double-sided tape. I've got some fingernails here. Yep, we have. Good. Let's drop that down out of the way. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, get that into place. Pull the double sided tape towards us, and then I will just jump in and very cautiously uh, buzz the electric window up. There is um, a likelihood that the pressure sensor on the electric windows, the first time it may trip out, um, and so we may have to make some adjustments to that. But let's just give that a try. Okay, so as you uh, you saw there, the, the initial attempt to put the window up, um, the the um, safety me mechanism, the, the finger trap mechanism, did automatically rewind the window. So I just um, offered it up again. What they recommend doing now is leaving that in place um, just overnight to let the plastic uh, mould, and the window is now also pushing that double-sided uh, tape firmly in both places. Um, and then in the morning, we've just got a couple of metal clips that also come in the kit. Um, let me find them here. So, let's open those up so you can see them. We've got some just little metal retaining clips with barbs on. Wait for that. And then all you do is um, lower the window and insert that. You get something just, you know, 
possibly like the scissors just to push it up into the window channel um, and that then holds it firmly into place. So as you can see, relatively simple um, thing to fit. Okay, so that's the four wind deflectors fitted to the car. Um, it's quite, quite subtle, quite neat, um, so it doesn't look too aftermarket. Um, but crucially, the functionality we're after um, is that it will allow a ventilation both front and rear um, without us getting wet in the um, impending rainy season. Um, the other thing just to have a look at from within inside the car is um, any additional blind spot it creates. Um, so as you can see with the, the A pillar there, um, the Team Heiko design is very neat design. It has a cutout um, on all models um, so it doesn't obscure the wing mirror as you can see there. Um, so that's a neat, really neat design feature. They do seem to um, have given some thought to their designs. Um, these are slightly tinted um, and it does, I mean in fairness, it does increase the width of the A pillar just slightly so you do need to be aware of that um, from a blind spot perspective um, but generally it's a very neat uh, neat design very easy to install took about 20 minutes to uh, install all four um, we'll come back in the morning uh, just lower the windows and insert those metal clips once the um, once the double sided sticky tape has uh, set and the plastic has molded with the pressure of the windows overnight Hope you find that useful.